Now, you have a new foldable phones you've been looking at. You've test driven two yes, of them. I have. It's been a fun few days. Uh, so last week, Samsung unveiled two of their new foldable phones. So just to get boring for a second, back in the day, uh, Samsung had a very strict phone release schedule where uh, the early part of the year, they'd unveiled the S range. And then in August or September, they'd bring out the Note. And that was the one yeah. aimed at business users that had the S Pen and it was great. That kind of disappeared. And over the last number of years, they've been bringing out two foldable phones. So there's what's called the Galaxy Z Flip and and the Galaxy Z Fold. Uh, And they're aimed at two different types of person. So the Flip is something that, and I mean this so respectfully, it's something that you'd expect to see in the Barbie movie. It's a lovely looking phone. It folds over in sort of a clamshell type style. Yeah. Um, is there a screen on both parts of it? or Yes, and this is what I love. And this is one of the best things about the new phone. Uh, so the inside of it has, uh, it's, I think it's a 6.8 inch screen when it's unfolded. But on the front of the device, there's what's called a flex screen. Now, initially when this came out, uh, it was a very, very small screen. It would let you see your notifications if you had an incoming call. This time on the 5, uh, the screen is bigger. It's now 3.2 inches. Okay, it's a big enough screen. You it's can... big enough. Like I mean, the old iPods, it's kind of like having that sort of iPod screen yeah. on, on the front of your device. But what's great is the functionality of it. So you can reply to text messages without having to open your phone. You can set the widgets on the front of the phone to be whatever you want. You can interact pretty, you know, sophisticatedly with the device closed over. In the review period, now I only had it for a few days, um, I found that I was opening the phone less and I was faffing around with the phone less because I could just use it as a functional tool. So you can determine what you want, what tools you want on the cover. Yeah, it's kind of like having a smartwatch in that, you know, I wear the Apple Watch so I can check my emails, I can reject calls and all that sort of stuff. So just having that was really nice internally. uh, You've got the faster Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chip. But beyond that... There's not a whole host of difference between this version and the previous version. Now, they have done some nice things uh, like making the hinge that bit stronger. We've spoken before about these flip phones. Um, They are built and designed to be folded and unfolded a ridiculous amount of times. Um, But they're making that a bit stronger, but they're also making it thinner. So it fits in your pocket that bit more comfortably. Uh, But overall, there's not a massive difference. Expensive, though. It is quite expensive. Um, Now you are paying for it. There's true innovation here. You know, for such a long time, I was talking about smartphones and saying, look, there's not a whole lot else to say. It's good. This is a really nice phone. It's a very innovative innovative design. The 256 gig version uh, is €1,239 to buy it outright. And the 512 gig version is €1,349. Now, As I said, I only had it for a short period of time. The cameras are great. The functionality is brilliant. And I'm still not 100% sure if I would buy one with my own moolah yet. Just because of the fear factor that if something goes wrong, I dread to think how much a replacement screen would cost. That's my only fear factor. But overall, I have to say I really liked it. Now, what about the Galaxy Z Fold 5? That's the, the folding rather than the flipping. It opens out to a seamless screen, although you do see the... You see the little groove. There's yeah. no there's no two ways about it. You do have a little bit of groove in the middle of the screen. Uh, this is aimed at somebody who maybe would have been a Note customer in the past. Maybe there was somebody who has a mobile phone, a tablet and a laptop because they have loads of different tasks and they just need a device to do it all. The Z Fold 5 looks to be all of those devices in one device. If you've never seen one in person... Uh, it is utterly fascinating to look at. So you've got your front screen. So when I have it closed over, it just looks like a slightly skinnier uh, mobile phone. But then you can open it out and you get a 7.6 inch screen. Now it's almost square when you unfold it, which is a bit of an unusual shape because Mm. it's not quite tablet shape and it's not quite phone shape. But if you are someone like me who does an awful lot of work from their phone, it's great because I could start writing an email with the device closed over and seamlessly open it out and have and it a bigger screen. Inside. inside instantly. That works with things like, you know, whether it's your WhatsApp, whether it's uh, Netflix. The, the the seamless transition from front screen to big screen is stunning. Uh, it is like a beautiful screen to watch content on. You do constantly see that crease. Uh, so you have to just try and pretend that it's not there. 
but it is a device aimed at people who want to multitask. There's almost like a bar at the end of the screen with all of your apps. You know, on a on a on an Apple computer or on your desktop on your PC, the way you have like your toolbar of options and apps yeah. and so on. You have that now when it's unfolded, and it makes multitasking that bit easier. You can have multiple screens running at the one time, multiple apps running at the one time. But the tech spec inside this just needs a moment to shine because you have that Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, 2 chip. You also have 12 gigs of RAM. Now, when we do our laptop <laughs> guide every year, I'm saying, well, 4 gigs of RAM, whatever. 12 gigs in of RAM in a phone. And then the storage, you've got 256 or else yeah, 512. But you're paying for all of this. Oh, well, I hope you're sitting down now. So for the 256 version, it's 1,999 euro. Or the biggest storage option is one terabyte, and that is two thousand three hundred and forty nine euro. So, I mean, I'm not going to rush out and buy one straight away because that's an awful lot of money. However, if you look at your mobile phone as an investment, and if you are looking at the cost of buying a phone, a tablet, and having a high powered laptop or something like on your person the whole time. I can explain away any yeah. <laughs> expense in that instance. It's just like someone buying a handbag in Brown Thomas as an investment. But that's it. It's an investment. <laughs> it stands to you. Uh, look, that they are they are gorgeous devices. It is proper innovation in the world of smartphones. I like them a lot, uh, but I just don't know that I'd part with my cash for them as of yet. All right. Um, now, questions coming in. Um, uh, has Jess heard much about the reliability of folding phones? I've had two Galaxy Fold 4s where the centre screen has failed in Interestingly, while it's IP rated as waterproof, it's not rated as dustproof. Yeah, this is something that has cropped up. And again, that goes back to the point I made initially when we were talking about the Flip 5. I've heard instances, now look, they are few and far between uh, where the the screens do fail and it can be a costly repair. Samsung, I was talking to the head of Samsung UK and Ireland on Tech Talk, which you can listen back to if you so wish. Um, and we talked about the issue of uh, repairability and so on. It is something that they're aware of. Uh, you do get a warranty, obviously, when you buy a phone. And then you can also get what's called Samsung Care Plus, very similar to Apple Care Plus. Um but you do pay for that, unfortunately. Uh, so look, it is something that is going to be looked at, particularly with this technology. Uh, the glass in the Fold 5, it is liquid glass. It's not traditional glass. So it is more durable and they are focusing on that durability, but it has been a, an issue in the past. 